Hey guys, it's JP, and today I'm going to go over one of the most common running injuries which is usually seen with kneecap pain, otherwise known as patellofemoral joint syndrome. In this video, I will go over this condition and ways to help with it so you can continue to run without symptoms getting worse. First, let's talk about what this condition entails. This typically involves pain behind the kneecap, which tends to be reproduced with activities that put load on the knee, like stairs and prolonged running. Now, with the exception of more severe cases, let's go over ways to reduce load in the area and decrease symptoms related to the knee. One way to do this is to reduce your running volume and or pace. Doing so is one of the first things I tend to do as it is one of the most simplest ways to decrease stress on the knee joint as it tries to recover. The next thing we would try to modify is the running pattern. Let's go over a running analysis I did on Alexander as a visual example. In this clip, Alexander has been having right kneecap pain, so I'll go over ways to help reduce stress on that area through modifying his running form. Here, he runs at 173 steps per minute. This is not bad for this relative pace, but based on some research, by increasing your preferred step rate by about 5%, you may be able to reduce load placed on the knee by about 20%. So for Alexander, he can try increasing his step rate to about 180 steps per minute and see how that feels. The next thing we can look at is the landing. Here, you'll notice that he lands more on the forefoot on the right side compared to his left side. This may be due to a compensatory strategy to take load off the right knee. This is because when you land more on the mid to forefoot area, this puts more load on the calf muscles, but less stress on the knee joint. Now another thing I'd incorporate is optimal loading of the muscles around the leg. While it may be important to rest the knee for a little, people tend to do this for too long. Incorporating some appropriate strengthening around the area where it does not overstress the area may facilitate recovery. Based on this last point, I'll give an example of a set of exercises I use specifically for the quads to slowly build up the muscles around the knee. I also chose the quads as that is involved in absorbing forces transmitted into the leg as it hits the ground. If this does not adequately do its job, more forces would be transmitted into the knee joint. Anyway, I give a progression so you can try to match what your quad muscles are capable of currently. The first exercise I show is squats. You can start with no resistance, then incorporate increased weight as shown in the video when tolerated. This is a simple and effective way to load the quads. First, let's look at positioning. You can keep the feet around shoulder width apart. Try to keep the knees facing forward. Tilting the knees away can actually offload the quads and utilize more of the other muscles like the adductors. Also, try to maintain a tall trunk. Leaning forward will allow you to cheat the movement by putting less work on the quads. Now, you can squat down. Remember not to let the knees collapse inward. Then, you can return to starting position and repeat. The second exercise I'll go over here is the rear foot elevated split squat, otherwise known as the Bulgarian split squat. This is a bit of a progression from the squat. It challenges the quads in the front more and places more control demands on the hip and the knee. To do this one, place a target foot forward and support foot on an elevated surface like so. Try to maintain a tall trunk throughout the activity. You can also hold weights in both hands to progress the activity as needed. Then, slowly lower down. Again, try not to allow the knee to collapse inward. Then, return to starting position and you can repeat. The last exercise I'll go over is the step up. This is a great exercise that really works on eccentric contraction of the quadriceps, which is primarily involved in the absorption of forces placed on the knee during running. To do this one, place one foot on an elevated surface. I'd start low and increase the height as long as you can do this activity properly. Then with the target leg, drive straight down through the step and go into a tall upright position. Then maintain control as you lower to the ground. Then you can repeat it. And those are just a few ways I would help decrease stress on the knee joint and improve recovery from kneecap pain, otherwise known as patellofemoral joint syndrome. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and found it helpful. Remember that this is for educational purposes only. If you seem to be experiencing this condition, I highly suggest you consult a healthcare professional. Anyway, as always, thank you for watching.